Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Aloha Rebels. I'm Ron Futrell, and for the next half hour, I'm going to be your host here as we take a look at this 1988-89 running Rebel basketball team, and we'll do it with a flair of the Hawaiian Islands here. We are on the island of Maui. This is where the Rebels began their season this year in the Maui Classic, their first time ever in the Maui Classic, and they started it off with a win over to Paul and then a heartbreaking loss to Oklahoma, then returned and came back with a victory over Memphis State. Now, this year's team is probably one of the most highly regarded UNLV run and Rebel teams ever. I mean, people have been talking about this team for years, the formation of it, the arrival of a David Butler and a Moses Scurry from San Jacinto Junior College. But remember, this is also a young Rebel team. There are only two seniors on this ball club. One of those seniors is Keith James from Baltimore, Maryland. He's one of three James brothers to have played for the Rebels. Keith is Mr. Instant Offense on this ball club. If you need points in a hurry, you call Keith. But it's well documented that his defense could use some work. Well, I always knew I could kind of shoot the ball. That's the first thing I learned how to do was shoot. What I have to really work on is my defense. I have to put more effort in that than playing offense. Offense is kind of natural for me. The other senior, Clint Rossum, played out of Bonanza High School. He'll be playing the shooting guard this year. His job is simple, score points and play tough defense. So far this year, he's done well at both. Clint's biggest problem over here on Maui was with his left knee. He sprained it early in the tournament and will be out for at least a week. Oh, well, I think it happened when I played against DePaul. I fell twice during that game, and uh, I really don't know which one it was, but I fell twice, and I, that, I think that caused an injury right there. And I woke up the next morning, and my knee was pretty sore, but I still played the next game when we played Oklahoma, but my knee was pretty stiff. Clint Rossum is our best defensive guard. Uh, Greg Anthony gets more steals, but Clint plays the soundest of the defense, and, and you know, we, if we're going to be a great team, we got to get sound. We can't just rely on stealing the ball. we got to be sound and we got to build to that, and that's where Clint Rossman is so important to us. One of the most exciting guards on this year's ball club is freshman Anderson Hunt from Detroit, Michigan. Smallest guy on the team at six foot one. He led the Rebels in scoring at the Maui Classic. Anderson hurt his right hand in practice, and he's been bothered with it on his outside shooting, but I tell you, this guy can flat out play. He blocks shots, throws down slams, and can fill it up from the outside. Now, the best place to have your leadership on a basketball basketball team is at the guard position. They control the flow of a game. The big man, so to speak, at this spot is Greg Anthony out of Rancho High School. He wears number 50, an unusually high number for a guard. Anthony needs to watch his turnovers. He had 20 of them in his three games over on Maui, but as the team gets more in sync with their play, so should Anthony. Recently, I talked with Greg about leading this year's ball club. I'm not a vocal type of player, but I, I'm, hopefully I'll lead by example. The same with Stacy and some of the older guys that we have on the team. So I don't think we're going to have anyone that's going to be outspoken and just, just jump out to the forefront. But I, I think we have guys who, like I said, will come out and lead by example, and I think they'll help the team overall. What are your thoughts, Greg, about getting to know some of these people here, some of the new guys on this ball club that, uh, you know, I know you played with a lot of them, though, throughout the summer, but now you're getting together as a team. What are your thoughts about some of these these new guys? Uh, it's It's been pretty enjoyable, I tell you. I mean, you, you got guys with as much talent as some of these guys have, and you don't have any ego problems. You know, there's a lot of unselfishness, and everyone's working together, pulling for each other. And I tell you, that makes for a great surrounding, and the atmosphere has been real, real pleasant here. And I, I think that's enhanced practice somewhat. So. You know, I, I really enjoy it. Like I said, I have the utmost respect for everyone on the team. So, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm happy with it. Are you working out totally at the at the one guard spot, at the point guard spot, or is there a possibility you can move to the two if Anderson comes out as the point? Uh, sure, whatever coach decides. You know, I'm just here to play and w play whatever role, you know, would help the team. If that be one or the two or the bench or whatever, you know, that's, you know, that's my job. So, you know, I think we have a lot of capable guards, and, you know, we, we are inexperienced, so... I think as the season progresses, we'll know exactly what everyone's role will be. Okay, what about the pressure put on you being from Las Vegas here? A lot of people look at Freddie Banks and the great career he had here. Do you feel any extra pressure being from here? Uh, honestly, I don't. Probably uh, less, if, if at any. I, you know, I don't look at it that way. I mean, Fred, you know, he came, he played his four years. He had a outstanding career here. The Rebels were real successful with him. But we're two totally different types of ball players, and I think people will realize that as the season comes. So that, that, there is no pressure. You know, I get more pressure probably from being compared to Mark Wade than I do to Fred Banks. So that, that's no problem whatsoever. The two remaining guards are both from Southern California. Stacy Sianovich has been valuable off the bench with his defense. Now, if Stacy stays healthy, he should get more playing time as the season goes on. 
The other guard, Travis Bice, is in his sophomore season. He is a pure shooter. He's still young and doesn't figure to play much this season. In fact, Travis may redshirt this year. With this year's forwards, Coach Tark has a lot of flexibility. Stacy Ogman and George Ackles will start. Stacy is in his second year with the Rebels. Of course, he got a lot of experience in the offseason playing with the U.S. Olympic team. The question mark on Ogman was his outside shooting. He's shooting around 60% from the floor so far this year, so perhaps those questions will be gone soon. Eccles is one of the Rebels' big men. He's six foot ten, a junior college transfer from Pittsburgh. He's smooth, graceful, and has great hands. But his best asset might be his blocking shot. Eccles has very long arms. He will be a force for opponents to watch for inside. The premier power forward is Moses Scurry, six foot seven, 210 pounds, and very strong. He's a rebounding madman. Moses could also be the emotional leader on this year's team. The guy on the bench and on the ball court who fires this ball club up. I'm going to try to say, you know, even though I'm not in the game, I'd like, you know, get the bench, you know, into the game, you know, so they can help the team out, you know, give them spirit, pumping up. You know, and then when I get in the game, I do as well, you know, to help the team out 100%, you know. Tell me about your physical play inside. Looks like you're a guy that's going to be shooting a lot of free throws this year, and that's something that, too, that you, that you got to work on, it looks like, too. Well, the free throws are out. You know, I remember one game I shot 20 for 23. You know, I guess at the gym, I'm, when my hands are wet, you know, I can't shoot too good, you know. I got to keep them dry, so, you know, the gym is kind of hot. I guess we get in the real gym, then we can do a little something, you know, air conditioning in there. Another forward on this team is Barry Young, a sophomore from Maryland, nice outside shooter. It's possible that Barry may redshirt this year. And Chris Jeter from San Diego. Now, Chris is only a sophomore and doesn't figure to see a lot of playing time this year. At the center position, the Rebels have another 6'10 guy, David Butler, another inside player with good hands and great intensity. For years, Tark has said he's never had a legitimate big man. He can't say that this year. Backing up Butler will be junior James Jones from Cincinnati. He is also a junior college transfer. Jones is a physical player who will bring a lot of depth to that center position. And when we come back here to Maui, we'll talk about one of the best rivalries in college basketball, the one between Oklahoma and UNLV, right after this. Savings event of the year is going on now at your Southern Nevada Chevrolet dealer. Chevrolet factory rebates have been combined with Chevrolet option savings packages. That means you can cash in on $2,000 savings on 89 Camaro, $1,900 savings on 89 Veretta, $1,500 savings on 89 Corsica, $1,800 savings on 89 Celebrity, $1,350 savings on 89 Caprice. Visit your Southern Nevada Chevrolet dealer now. Take advantage of these very special limited time only Chevrolet factory rebate. Fairway Chevrolet, 3100 East Sahara and Fletcher Jones Chevrolet, 444 South Decatur.